Damn, son. All right, so as you can see, I've generated over $140,000 in sales on my Shopify dropshipping store the past five days. And yeah, it's insane. I never thought I'd get to this point. And I'm feeling a million dollar month come any time now. However, it does make me a little bit nervous playing on such a big level. Now, the best thing about all of this is that it's completely passive. I barely need to work. I have the entire operation outsourced. And today I'm going to teach you exactly how I do it. Breaking down the entire system as well as all the employees that I have. So you can see exactly what it's like dropshipping on this level. And this month I set myself the goal of trying to reach a million dollars in one month with dropshipping. And judging by my results, we could potentially even hit it this month. Now I know this video might not be relevant to everyone out there who's starting, but let me tell you this. The education that you're about to get is gonna be better than a $2,000 course, okay? The value I packed in this video is insane. And you're also gonna get a look into how it's like running such a business because that's what it really is a business on this level dropshipping is no joke and it can be really stressful the past week we've actually had some problems with the business nearly half of my orders have been delayed and tons of customers have been reaching out to me concerned about the arrival of their product and most companies go broke in this time period because they lack any sort of customer support but this is where my team come into play and I expect it all to be fine and running smoothly again in just a couple of days I have VAs doing customer support on both my Facebook page and my email and I have another person who really saved me this week and that's my email guy who sent out a huge bulk email to all of my customers informing them that there could be a potential delay on their product he also provides them with discounts for future purchases as well as special offers and retargeting of customers who didn't buy on top of this I also have a content team which makes the best video ads possible we've also used influencers that we paid a pretty hefty amount to create testimonial type video ads that we put in the end of each creative but now all of this will be very stressful right and almost impossible to handle so how is it all passive well that's why I hired one of my friends to overlook the entire operation every day he makes sure content is prepared if I need it for future campaigns that there is no errors in the business or payment provider issues he also keeps a close eye on the dispute rates which can go really high from time to time and manages all the employees for me I have a call with him every single morning to look over everything and what I do personally is I scale the business because that's my strength all the marketing is done in-house by me personally thousands of dollars are being spent on ads every single day but with all this going on things can get really bad but more about the problems later to get to this point I had to hire a team for the longest time I was drop shipping in my room just by myself making hundred K to two hundred thousand dollars a month I simply just used VAs to handle customer support but it was first when I decided to grow a real brand that I had to look into things a bit differently I quickly learned that the difference between a six-figure business and a seven-figure one is that the first one is a hustle and the second one is simply just managing a system so I put a friend of mine on the task of testing products while having another person come up with a list of potential winners every single day and this is a strategy you yourself can use even without a team you can take so much inspiration from this testing model because it made me a millionaire every single morning I would go to the Google Excel document that we share with the goal of approving at least one product and we typically have a flow of like 30 40 good products a day the goal is to test around seven products a week that's one every single day and I have multiple different ad accounts in pixels in different niches to boost my chance of each test so when the the product is approved by me I will quickly have my team design video ads for it and also send that out to approval I will have another person design the web page for me and then I will have the guy who manages everything start testing out the products every single day and once we scale something up to four or five hundred dollars a day I will personally step in and take over now like I said you don't need a team to do this you could be the person yourself who does pretty much all of this on your own but if you take inspiration of this system you're gonna get rich very fast in Facebook data is everything okay so once you get some real sales in a niche keep the ad account focused on that niche only by testing seven products a week with perfect video ads we quickly found winners but there was one problem 90% of these products seemed like winners they were making sales and everything but it simply wasn't profitable and couldn't really scale fast people often ask me Henrik how do I know if my product is a winner and I always tell them this you will know a winning product blows up okay it's not slow and dropshipping 
really most of the time comes down to products okay so the answer is often to just test more of them anyways though i'm not testing any products right now i have a second store for that but i'm all in on this mini brand right now with the hopes of potentially selling it soon and scaling to my first million dollar month i started this store around august last year and ever since then it's only been growing and now that i remove myself from the business i feel like i'm more in my natural habitat scaling businesses managing my team and coming up with great ideas rather than focusing on boring tasks like hunting winning products and making a landing page i also have to make sure that all of my products are in stock and this is not easy at all when you're moving thousands of orders per week and like i said the past week we've had some big problems with it the main thing i've learned from all of this is that drop shipping really comes down to only two things you only really need to have a good video ad and do a ton of testing to find your perfect creative and a genius marketing angle your success is often a reflection of the click to rate you have every week we're testing new video ads carousel ads and photo ads anything we can come up with in new campaigns to find winning creatives but the problem is that it always dies out to tiktok style creatives is what works now if you just know this one thing how to make it and put your own twist onto it you're in a very good spot to grow i often see people in my mentorship program struggle to find winning products and their problem is actually just their video ads they either one don't align with their audience and goal or two it seems so much like an ad or doesn't have any like organic vibe to it when creating as soon as we implemented better creatives and went hard on that pretty much all of my students have been able to find winners so be aware of this and test with intention and now i'm sure you wonder what is it like making this amount of money and if i'm going to be completely honest with you i don't really feel it right now the business is still somewhat new and most of the money i make i just put back into it i bought some nice things sure but the goal now is really just to grow the company so i haven't really been able to live that much but to be honest i'm fine with that but let me tell you this Spending thousands of dollars on ads and testing new things constantly can be incredibly stressful. The risk of going negative is always there. And when you spend these amounts, things can go bad really quickly. And because of this, I'm very grateful for my operation manager because without him, I would end up messing up a lot of things and have to issue refunds to tons of customers. The last year, my mindset has switched so much from just pumping money with dropshipping, laughing about it and driving supercars to actually running a real business and thinking long-term. So as you can see this month so far, we've generated 388,000. We're probably going to end it at 400k so here's my main drop shipping store and it's literally generated me 275 thousand dollars the past three weeks i'd say for me when i'm the happiest is probably when i'm building things but the best life is honestly when you make like 20 30 thousand dollars a month you're just so free and exceeding that just might not be for everyone it's stressful you're going to doubt yourself a hundred times a day and the fear of losing it all is always going to be there so if you think rich people don't have stress in their life they actually can have a lot of problems personally i'm not worried though things are running smoothly and the story is only growing but if there's one key takeaway you can get from this video it would have to be to stay intentional with what you're doing let me tell you what i mean the reason you're not finding a winning product is because you're not branding early enough there's so many ways you can make it seem like a brand without actually being one the name of your product for example make up something unique don't just call it for what it is specify your audience too don't run broad products broad find a niche audience that fits your product and then you can later on expand and keep a cool color scheme on your website like make sure to add to cart button for example matches the banner color that matches the other buttons just create a real vibe to it because most websites they don't have any personality what i'm trying to say is that you want to do everything you can to increase your conversion rate when starting because if you can do that you're not going to have to test so many products this whole mindset of testing mediocre products not putting in so much effort and thinking i'm just going to perfect it later is simply just stupid do your best always and your time will come it wasn't too long ago that i was completely broke living with my parents and absolutely absolutely hating my life so I'm not any different than you and I didn't even have all the information that's out there today so if I'm gonna be honest with you it's easy right now just go out there and earn it and I'm planning on making some vlogs on this channel where I'm just documenting the day-to-day -day life of running such a huge business and also share with you my journey to reach a million dollars a month in every single video I'm gonna show you live updates on my store I'm also gonna post actively in my Instagram because that's a dream that I've had for so long. And even me who thinks big thought that I would never get to that stage, but it's actually seeming somewhat realistic now. But making money like this will take some time. 
Now that's it for this video. If you want to follow my journey, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I'm Henrik and on this channel, I'm sharing everything I know about dropshipping, making money online, as well as documenting my own journey. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.